Hello, today I'm going to show you how to create a sliced text effect. First open a new document, get rid of the stroke and draw a rectangle to cover the whole artboard. This will be our background. Let's create a new layer. Next select the type tool, change the fill to white and let's adjust the font. Now type your text. In the next few steps we will rearrange the letters to get this look. First we need to convert it into shapes. To do that make sure your text is selected. Then right click with your mouse and choose create outlines. Right click again and choose ungroup. Now we can move the letters independently. Let's move the middle section to the center of the artboard this section to the bottom and the last one a little bit to the right. Next we'll cut each section in half to get this look. To do that first select the top section and then go to the knife tool. It is hidden under the eraser tool. To make a straight cut first press and hold down the Alt key. Then position your mouse away from the letter, click, hold and drag across the entire segment. Now release your mouse and then release the ALT key. And let's do the same with the other segments. Next switch to the selection tool and click on the top part of the letter D to select it. Then holding down the shift key select all the top pieces of each letter. Now pressing down the up and left arrow keys on your keyboard reposition the selected parts. Next we will add a gradient. First select everything, then go to the gradient panel and select white and black gradient. Next select the top part of the first letter and adjust the gradient. Make sure the white color is at the bottom and black on top. And do the same with all the other parts. And we are done. If you would like you could add cut lines to get this effect. Let's zoom in on the letter D. Select the line segment tool, swap the fill and the stroke and change the stroke to white. Now draw a line and make sure it is in line with your cut line. Let's increase its stroke to two points. Switch to the direct selection tool and let's extend this line. Next go to view and make sure all the snap options are unchecked. Then go to object and choose expand. This will convert the line into a shape. Let's zoom in on this part. Now we will cut the excess part to line up with the top shape. To do that either switch to the direct selection tool, select a single anchor point and reposition it. Or using the eraser tool cut the excess part. And let's do the same with the other two segments. Thanks for watching. Bye bye.